So here's how you plan out your Thursday. That increasing cloud cover leading to that rain snow mix chance as temperatures push into the, the mid 40s with those winds eventually out of the southwest 15 to 25 miles per hour. So these can be some breezy and gusty winds throughout the day and you can notice this even heading into your dinner hour tonight and I think it'll stay tomorrow at least for the first half of the day tomorrow as the system moves through. So in our overnight hours, winds 10 to 15 sustained with temperatures dropping back towards the 30 degree mark or so as we see those lighter snow showers. Then tomorrow, it's our coldest day of the entire week, sitting at 38 degrees. Partly cloudy once we get to the second half of the day as we'll continue to dry out. So here we are overnight, that colder air wrapping around, giving us these very light snow showers, flurry consistency in some locations as well. I think we'll get maybe a dusting, maybe a half an inch out of this, but any accumulations we do get will be minor and they'll be short lived and really disappear rather quickly. That cloud cover, it'll wash away in the second half of the day. We'll start to see sunshine and then we'll really build into a beautiful, gorgeous and warm weekend. So there's the upper levels of the atmosphere. There's this dip of colder air for tonight and into tomorrow. But then we get into this upper level ridge. We pump in all that warm, mild air that we'll enjoy all weekend long. I know everybody I keep talking to around town is very excited about it. So here's a look at it. 47 degrees on Saturday, full sunshine. Same deal on Sunday, 58 degrees. Would not be shocked if some of you hit 60 degrees. We do spring our clocks forward, so remember to do that this weekend. But then we will usher in some scattered rain chances on Monday, keeping temperatures then in the 40s the rest of the week.